Everything in the known universe is made up of small components called elements. Everything from water to air, pizza, and your phone. By using this tool here, we can see the components of some of the blocks in Minecraft. Because you know, those devs they can't forget. Hey, what's going on guys? Logdad Zip here. Hey, check out my hotbar down here. We got some new items, baby. Bleach, <laughs> right. Heat blocks, super fertilizer, ice bombs. We got freaking orange sparklers, underwater TNT, not even messing around. Little balloons. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh, can I pop it? I can't even pop it. Stupid, strong balloon. We also got underwater torches, as well as a whole bunch of new blocks that all do different things in today's brand new update, where we show off one of the coolest changes to the bedrock slash pocket edition version of the game for Minecraft we've ever seen before. The chemistry update. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this. Huge, huge. Periodic, I just broke the armor stand, I had a book on it. Periodic table of elements, brand new items, brand new blocks, and you can all access it right now, my friends. You'll find out how in today's video. My friends, we're in the latest beta version of the Pocket Edition update. As you can see, uh, this text right up at the top here, beta 1.2.20.1, GUI 4.00, what is it? Right, if you want to figure out how to get into the beta, there's plenty of tutorials showing you how, but it involves being either in the Android beta, or if you're on Windows 10, the Windows 10 Xbox Insider Hub beta. There's more instructions and other videos you can look up online. For those of you that are in the beta, though, it is simple enough. All you gotta do is create a new world, create a new world, and then scroll down on the world settings y'all ready for this we got activate cheats and then we got education edition right there it's beautiful once you enable that you'll have access to all of the new chemistry doohickeys and this is and that's it's right because this is technically the education edition version of the game which was never available to just random anybody's until well <laughs> i suppose now and so as you can see going through this creative mode list you can check out right at the bottom all of the <laughs> Yeah, really sheep, you're gonna get out of them. You can see all the different chemical elements all listed right down here, and they are capable of doing lots of cool things in this version of the game. Now again, this is a beta, as you can see right down in this corner, so if you want to leave feedback for Minecraft and Mojang, you'll be able to do it. And if you want to see more education edition style content, show up on the channel with any updates related to it coming out. You can let me know, baby, by dropping a like on this video right now. We're gonna set off this spark right now, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. We're literally setting off sparkers in Minecraft. What else is there in store, huh? Well, we're gonna find out right after we finish off with this bleach. So yeah, like I said, leave a like, leave a subscribe, hit that bell to be notified, and shout out to the guy that put all this together, your boy Stark. Hello, I'm your Professor Stark TMA. Today we're going on a journey exploring chemistry. Ooh, exciting. If you want to check out Stark's channel, it's going to be linked in the description of this video as well. This is our first breakdown. This is the material reducer. We got a book right here that explains what it does. Everything in the known universe is made up of small components called elements. Everything from water to air, pizza, and your phone. By using this tool here, we can see the components of some of the blocks in Minecraft. Because you know, those devs, they can include everything. For example, we're gonna see what's inside this cobblestone right here. Cobblestone is made up of oxygen, sodium, silicon, potassium, aluminum, magnesium, iron, and calcium. We can get all of these different elements from one single block of cobblestone, and we can use them to transmute them into other things. Or, for example, we've got some oak wood planks, which are made up of, we can't use that one, okay. But we can use sand, which is made up of oxygen, lots of oxygen and some silicon as well. Now, however, it is important to note that some blocks like soul sand and nether rock contain mysterious elements yet to be discovered within our world, such as will be represented by a question mark block. So we put in soul sand here, we got silicon, we got oxygen, right, right, right. But we got some random ones as well. No one really knows what they're all about, but that's okay. We're gonna find out ways to use those in the near future. So now you got a whole bunch of different elemental blocks that you can play with. Again, these are the blocks that make up everything in Minecraft. You can place them as actual blocks, or you can use them to build a little bit more. What you're seeing right here is the periodic table of elements. And what you're seeing right here is me grabbing a book to explain even further. There are 118 known elements in the world, and you can see them all in in this periodic table ordered by their atomic number. That's right, helium, hydrogen, magnesium. <laughs> Those are the only elements I know, just whatever. But this book knows more. Non-metal elements. Magenta elements are called the noble gases. Green elements are the non-metals. There's metlas, 
probably metals elements. Blue elements are alkali, cyan, or earth, pink. We well, y'all can just pause, okay? Now that you've had your fill of knowing what all the different chemicals are and what they look like and how special they are. Oops! Oh wow! <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm gonna fix this. Conveniently, they're all numbered in the appropriate order. All right. Well, now that you got your fill of the periodic table. It's time for us to start doing something with these elements. Namely, we're gonna start building them using this new block known as the element constructor. Ooh. Check it out. You can use this for two things. You can use it to either take an element you've already created and find out exactly how many protons, electrons, and neutrons it is comprised of, and you can use it to get an infinite amount of elements, or you can slowly build out your very own elements by messing with the sliders right here on the left side. Now, anyone that knows anything about elements would realize that the very first and most basic of all elements is hydrogen. Now, hydrogen consists of one proton, one electron. That's it, baby. Sometimes you get some neutrons in there, have a good time. It's not always going to be the case, but you can make different types of elements just by messing with these sliders. And there's a couple of books that you will find yourself having access to when you install this chemistry update as well. And they will show you other elements you can make. You can also just look these up and then, you know, be a studious little student and figure out how to make them on your own. But for examples here, we've got beryllium. Pro four protons, four electrons, and five neutrons. So if we go ahead and do four protons, Four electrons, one, two, three, four, count five. We got our beryllium right there. And again, you can make all of these different elements in an infinitesimally amount of creating. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to sound smart. Subscribe. Now, alternatively, you can take pre-existing elements that you made over there and actually put them in here to see how they are broken down. So bromine is 35 protons, 35 electrons, and 35 neutrons. If we were to put a different feature in there, we would get calcium, for example, right there, 20, 20, 20. The, this one, you can't do anything with it because it's mysterious and nobody knows what it does exactly. But look at this. You can find out what every single element is made up of instantly. Yo, some of these look crazy. Look at this. Like just slowly stacking more and more electrons. It looks like it's a, like a base, like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, break it down. Now, the one thing about elements, though, is that you can combine them together to make compounds. And compounds is the basic building blocks of life. You know, welcome, Minecraft. You got some catching up to do. Create compounds by adding the appropriate type and number of elements to the grid. The compound you have created will appear in the output box on the right-hand side of this brand new block we've got right here, known as the compound creator. Yeah, y'all love that, huh? So we're gonna make one of the most basic compounds known to man. It is water. It's H2O. I know y'all heard this one before. So you need two H's because you got the H2 and then you got the O. And you can see right here, two H's, one O, we got water. It couldn't be any simpler, but we can get a little more complex. These are all the different compounds you can make. Aluminum, ammonia, barium sulfate, bah. Oh, that's just from the previous one. Benzene, boron, calcium, charcoal, crude oil, lye, luminol. The list goes on and on. If you want to find out more, like I said, just download the update, you get the book. So let's try making charcoal, huh? We need seven carbon, four hydrogen, and one oxygen. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't know why I put it like that. That's funny looking. One oxygen, and then we need four hydrogen. One, two, three, four. Okay, maybe we did this a little silly looking. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. That's what we were trying to make. And look, we, we literally got charcoal, the charcoal item. Isn't that funny? C7H4O. That charcoal. Now, once you've made a few different compounds, you can take it right over to the lab table and try and combine them into even greater things. Now, this can go right and sometimes it can go wrong. We're going to see how it looks when it goes wrong right now. We're going to combine water and charcoal together. Click combine. As you can see here, we got garbage. Yeah, if you don't do it right, you'll get an item known as garbage and it looks like a flaming pile of gunpowder. It's no good, but it gets better. Because y'all remember these items from a little bit earlier? Oh, <laughs> you can get these as compounds that aren't garbage if you combine them all in the appropriate way. We got a nice little book that tells a little bit more. We're gonna make bleach. We need three water and three sodium hypochlorite. Oh my gosh. So we'll do that together. Two hydrogens, one oxygen. We're gonna get one, two, three, well, one, two, come on, three, four waters. No, oops, we only need three. And for sodium hypochlorite, we need Na, Cl, and O. So oxygen is eight of each proton, neutron, and electron. Sodium is 11 protons and electrons and 12 neutrons. And chlorine is 17 protons, 17 electrons, and 18 neutrons. Oh my gosh, it's just it's unending. Now I'm only gonna go through and make all the compounds one time each. Y'all kinda understand how it works after this. So Na, Cl, 
and O makes us our sodium hypochlorite. And we're gonna need three of these alongside our three waters. But check it out, you put these three in there, you put the three waters in there as well, click combine, and look what you get, baby. Boom! You got yourself some bleach. Now don't drink this, it's no good for you, but you can use it to do some special things. For example, we've got some blue wool here. We're gonna add a little bleach to it, look what happens. All the color is completely removed from it instantly. You can use it with wool, you can use it with beds, you can use it with other blocks too. Now we got a few other things over here, the ice bomb. Again, if you want more information about how to make all these things specifically, you can download this update, it'll tell you. For now, I just wanna show you, cause it's way more fun to show things. So we've got some charcoal here, we're gonna mix that with some nice extra NaCl. If you didn't know what that was, well hey, don't get salty. It's salt. And now we got everything we need to make another special compound. Throwing salt, water, iron, and charcoal into this little area right here where my iron go away, right here. We can combine this and get a new block type. What is it? Well, <laughs> y'all crazy. It's the heat block. And it's kind of see-through. That's neat looking. Look, check this guy out, huh? Hey, not bad. Probably shouldn't have pressed you like that. Well, point is you can use the heat block to melt things like snow and ice in a similar manner to the way that the torch works. So we're gonna go ahead and line this guy with a couple special goodies all over the place. Mm -hmm. And with any luck, it should start to heat up and cause this to melt in a hot minute. For now, we're gonna move on to another one of these special items we have right here known as super fertilizer. Which you get from ammonia and phosphorus. Again, if you want to figure out how to make all these things, well, there's a whole book that shows you how to make the ammonia, which is 3N plus 3H. I don't know what the numbers mean, as well as all the rest of it. I'm just going to show you what it does. You see all this great wheat right here? Nice and grown, ready to be eaten. The wheat and be eaten. Uh -huh -huh, not today, sweetheart. We got a different type of fertilizer on board. A super fertilizer. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, I didn't grab it. <laughs> Oops. Well, anyway, check it out. Super fertilizer, one tick, instantly grows it all the way. You don't gotta worry about three bone meal. You just gotta spend forever making super fertilizer instead. Ice bombs, super awesome. Four sodium acetates in order to make yourself a nice ice bomb. What is sodium acetate? I don't know, but I do know what ice bombs are. You throw it into water and it turns it all into ice. It's something, how are you supposed to, maybe, what do I write? Oh, I think I right click. Oh, okay, yeah, I right click. <laughs> well, there you go, you got a nice ice bomb. It's time to hit him with those super fast mode builds. We got ourselves a lovely torch on top of some cerium chloride. Put these two in a crafting table together, you're gonna get a very special torch. A blue torch! It's blue when you put it on the grass, see? Nice, blue lighting, everybody's favorite. Finally, colored torches in Minecraft. Curious though, time, set, night. Does it, is it gonna make it look nice and, Okay, well, it's it's normal looking light, I suppose, but you, you don't complain, you know, details, huh? There are even combinations you can use to make other colored torches, like this green torch right here, and it works in a similar matter. It's like the blue torch, but it's green. But torches aren't for you. Fine. How about this? One, two, three. We got ourselves four, five, six. Grand total of six polyethylene. Nice. Say that five times fast. We got ourselves luminol, a nice rose red dye, and we got ourselves, what is this right here? Oh, you know, just some hydrogen peroxide, get it. And look what happens when you combine all of these into one lovely little area. Y'all ready? Check it out. Red glow stick, actual glowing glow stick. Look at me, best day. We're shaking the glow stick right now. It's causing it to glow. Time said night. It better be glow. Yeah, it's glowing. Oh, amazing. It's, it's so lovely. Uh -huh. I'm a raver. Hey, everybody party with me. Yeah, look how cool I am. No? Sorry, all right, what? Three boron trioxide, three light blue stained glass, and three piles of brown jar juice. Aluminum, <laughs> brown jar juice. Anyways, combine these real elements together and get yourself a special, t what? Oh, they have to be flipped. Combine these together to get a special hardened light blue stained glass, which looks a little bit different from your regular stained glass. Look at this, look at this. And not only that, it is a lot harder to break compared to regular glass as well. Normally we'd have broken the glass block already by now. So you can use these to reinforce your Minecraft homes with glass all over the place that you don't know are gonna blow up or not because creepers in your buy works out a lot nicer. Although it takes a long time to break and you get the block back no less. So that's a huge improvement over regular glass. And what's more, it comes in different colors and you can use it for panes as well. Look at this. This is not painful at all. Oh man. Oh man, I, that's a, that was a bad one. Check this out, we got a stick. 
We got magnesium. We also got ourselves some calcium chloride. We're gonna throw them all together. What's a crafting table? We're gonna throw them all together. We're gonna grab ourselves that orange sparkler that you saw earlier. Don't mind me while I turn it on. It's lit, baby. You know what's a good time every time on the log. That's the channel. Ah, uh, yes, chemistry. Isn't it exciting? Not as exciting as this next one right here. Yeah, y'all see the TNT. We got TNT and we have ourselves a little bit of sodium. We're gonna throw those together. Underwater TNT. That's right. When you currently use TNT in Minecraft underwater, nothing happens because the explosion, it just doesn't do anything. If you were to use the underwater TNT, well, presumably something a little bit different would happen. So we're gonna find out together. So here's the regular TNT. We'll go ahead and break these so that the, there we go. See, look, no damage whatsoever. Nothing happens. But what happens if we were to put in this underwater TNT? Well, allow me to show you. Well, I can't even place the torches on it. Come on. They've thought of everything, haven't they? How about here? There we go. It's in water, and what you expect is not what's gonna happen. Look at that! It blew up! Yeah, oh, this water looks really weird. Take it a step further, though, huh? You can make underwater torches. Yes, underwater torches actually work underwater. They look a little bit silly, but you know, sometimes you gotta make. The what the heck? Whoa! Hey, this looks. Exciting. Is it providing me with oxygen? Is that what I'm seeing? Hey, this looks like a fun little party. Hey. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so much fun, really. Can y'all guess what this is just by looking at it? I'm sure you could. Try and guess. What could go with a lead and with a die and with helium? Anything? No? How about with a whole bunch of, oh, you know, latex? Oh, y'all get it yet? Come on, fellas. It's a balloon. Balloons in Minecraft. Look. It's so exciting. Oh, look. And we put the balloon on a little lead right here. Oh, the balloon just went away. I like that. Why? Ah. Let's try that again with a nice yellow balloon. You can actually see that this is a lot of fun to make balloons in Minecraft. Look at this pig, huh? Well, he's had his moment. <laughs> away you go, little piggy. Oh, man. I never thought that this update would come out. You know what they say when pigs fly, right? Well, they actually do now, and it could not be any more hilarious. Oh, wow. The family that stays together falls to their death together. Here's an idea. Let's put it with a roof. Look, is it? Oh, wow. Well, the, I guess the moment it hits a ceiling, it just... Can we? Hold on. I'm going to... Eh. Oh, whoa. Didn't mean for that. <laughs> we got to move extremely quickly. Come on. Come on, pig! You always mess everything up. Get the, get in the balloon. Get in the balloon. No. I want to hit the balloon. Ah. What about a golem? Will a golem? <laughs> he even takes the golem. Although this one is a heck of a lot slower. We might. There we go. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Can we throw a few balloons on you then? Nah, just the one. Well. Uh-huh. Y'all just do your thing, Golem. We'll see you later. You can even use the brewing stand in game to create some interesting creation. We're gonna put nether war and blaze powder as one normally does, so we can get the potion to their awkward state, but then look what happens when we add in a little bit of silver to the equation. Mm. I don't know what noise I just made. Check it out. The awkward potions become antidotes that will cure poison the moment you drink them. Ooh. And it's got such a lovely little icon as well. I'm going to poison myself. I've poisoned myself. I'm in pain. I'm now going to drink the antidote. And now the poison's gone. Ugh. If you were to add cobalt to an awkward potion, you would get yourself some elixir. If you were to add calcium to a potion of awkwardness, <laughs> like me, I'm awkward. you'd get yourself a lovely set of eye drops. And hey, let's throw in some bismuth. <laughs> that is bismuth. Couldn't tell you, but adding it to an awkward potion will net you some tonic. And all these things do different things when you are inflicted with different ailments. We already tried poison. Let's check out weakness. We've also got blindness. And we've also got nausea. Now, the elixir is going to cure one of these three things. Let's see which one it cures. Well, it cures the weakness. You get elixir, your weakness is cured. Eye drops, well, naturally, that's going to fix the blindness. And, of course, tonic is there for your nausea needs. All those things at once fixed. You see, my arm was like freaking out for a second. Look at this. We got new potion items. We got new regular items. We got tons of new blocks. We got brand new 
tables and compound makers and, and stethoscopes and other fun things. We got it all in the chemistry update for Minecraft Education Edition, which again, y'all can get even if you ain't trying to get educated. All thanks to science. So, if you want to check out more information about Minecraft Education Edition, the chemistry update, you can find links to it in the description of this video, baby. That's right. Like I said, it's free. Y'all can try it right now if you need to find out information about how to get into the beta version of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Well, you're going to have to look up some resources there. Unless y'all want me to make a tutorial on how to do it, I'm open to doing that. But you're going to have to show me by leaving a like and subscribing and hitting that bell and buying my shirts and doing it all. And that's where we're going to leave these out. We'll see you later.